Okay, so do you see here again? Walking along on the side of the lake. Uh, a little kind of a bay type or a man-made port here. Nice and calm. Keep their boats. And we're walking towards the lake Neuchâtel. Yeah, it's really nice. I guess the little bridge is over there, isn't it? That's it? Okay. So, let's see. Just kind of walking along here. This grounds for a vlog. Just too many people coming here, and then you're always moving around with the camera. They have a marshland, I guess. A few birds over there. Yeah. Where in the middle? It's a nest. Oh, yeah, I see it. Okay, well, let's just keep on. You know, this would, like I was saying, this would be a good occasion for a vlog. I mean, last week, talking about keeping that glass half full, and I would say at least half full, I would say this this week's vlog should be my cup overflow. In the sense is that, you know, every, every uh, occasion that you have to, you know, walk around, enjoy, Enjoy your surroundings, enjoy the company of the people with you. It is an occasion where you can say, my cup overfloweth. I mean, it's a, there's a moorhen, I guess it's called. And uh, one of the things when I'm walking around here, as I was thinking along the lines, is that it doesn't take much money. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be... I mean, even in good health, as far as that goes, as long as you can get around a little bit and and see, I would say, the beauties of nature and what is uh, what is all around you. If you can actually say that, that my cup overfloweth. Okay, yeah, some some swans over there. Sante. Um, Yeah, it's a bit hard sometimes to keep on track because I have to, to walk along and not and not actually bump into the people as they're walking as well. Oh yeah, now okay, I'm back on track. Because I was going to talk also about uh, a subject that I did bring up in some earlier vlogs was about the gifts that have been given to us. In, in that respect, uh, there is a lot of... Uh, there's a lot that people can talk about, about what has been given to us and what can we give on further. And you know, this is one of the unique advantages of being on the social media platforms that we use, which I'm thinking about YouTube in this case, is that uh, we are able to, to give off to a large, a large circle, actually. A lot of people can, I would say, can profit and vice versa. We can profit, but such... A large number of people, you know, they will listen to us uh, and uh, that we can listen to. I think it was Daryl, 1-3-Rock-3-7-1-6-7, I think it is, who was saying, um, if I need to know something, I think it was him, if I, if I need an opinion, if I want to ask something, I put it up and then I get a whole series of people, you know, to tell me, tell me what they think. And that, that, that's really cool, isn't it? I mean, the whole idea is, is that the gifts that we have and the gifts that we receive from people is very unique uh, in this medium that we are following right now in our groups and so on here on YouTube. And that is why, once again, I would say, my cup overfloweth. Last week we said, is that glass half full? Or try to, try to fill it, even at times maybe necessary to 
to empty it maybe, empty it of what's in maybe this un unhealthy mixture that's in that glass, empty it, fill it up with good stuff. And that is a very unique chance that we have. And it's actually probably as well a mindset. It's a mindset that we should look for. Okay, well, I guess I'll be signing off and keep on walking, looking as well as to where I'm putting my feet and not just simply walk over. <laughs> okay. No, I don't want to fall in that. So these he'll be signing off for a moment. If I see something else, if I see something else, I'll I'll sign back in. Okay, guys, take care. Okay, so we're coming to the end of this boardwalk in the marshes and to the actual lake, which is Lake Neuchâtel. And there is some type of little beach set up here. And I say it's really a little, yeah, a really little beach. It's a bit of sand. And it's probably in large part for the people that uh, have their boats around here. But some people do come around and take a bit of sun. This is the first really nice day that we've had for the last month. Month of May has been rain, 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 rain. And so now actually we're getting a little bit of sun and everybody is really happy actually to be able to have this good weather again. So the sand is kind of nice and it, I mean, it's, it's nothing, it's nothing great. The idea is just actually to be able to be on the side of the water and like I say, I think that the large part, it's the people that have their boats here that come along. So, it is. Kind of nice because they come from the main lake and follow this little canal and go to that uh, that port, which is kind of nice and secure. I mean, when it's too windy, it's really quite cool. nice wind here. It's not always that strong, but there always is a little bit of wind. So it's a nice lake for for sailboats because if you look over there, you've got that the mountain chain over there, it's called the Jura. That's actually low-lying mountains. I mean it's up the height more or less of the Appalachians I would say. Not, nothing more than that. And uh, it always creates a nice wind canal along here. There's not that much wind actually today, but uh, there is this nice wind. I mean, it's a nice little breeze for for sailing, from what I from what I've heard. No, it's not. Uh, although as soon as we get out and more into the actual, I would say, lake, I am now. Yeah, you can feel the wind. Okay, definitely. So this, by the way, is it's probably a 20 minute, maximum 20 minute drive. Yeah, it's about 20 minute drive. So it's nice. Just saying hello from my own side.